I'm charging my Tesla Model Y at a Tesla supercharger at Oxford today for the first time since installing over the air update 2025.38 and uh, 38.3.1 installed Tron mode, which a lot of people are talking about. But there was also a few other little changes and in that is some new graphics. So let's go full screen here. We're now getting a supercharger when you're charging with some nice reflections here at the bottom. So I'm here at Oxford at a supercharger site which uses version three superchargers and we now have a version three stool here on the screen showing the electricity going into the car, which is very nice. And you can spin it and rotate it. And it is quite slick actually. I wonder whether this supercharger changes to a version four stall if you're at a version four supercharger. I would assume it does. So what I might do in a minute is go and drive to a version four supercharger and see whether the graphics change. These new graphics are very nice with the shadowing as well. And when you're on a split screen, you get more shadowing and you still get the supercharger there. So yeah, they really improve this. So I'm at some version four superchargers. So let's see what these look like on the screen. I was using my mobile phone to record this video and mucked up with the recording. Fortunately, I took a photo which shows the graphics did not change when I used the version four stall, which I was surprised at. So let's see what the graphics are like when you're using a third party charger. So I tried using this BP Pulse charger and it's just not working. There's some text on there, but it's so small, I cannot read it. I think it's saying try another card, which I've done. I've tried three cards and it's failing every time. I've also gone next door and tried an InstaVolt charger and I've got about a hundred pounds, I've got 95 pounds credit with InstaVolt and it wouldn't let me use it. I had to top up the card. It said it needed a pound for my card. So I went to do that and it wouldn't take a pound, it would only add 20 pounds to the account. So I even did that and it still didn't work. So it's just made me realize how good the Tesla supercharger network is because I haven't used public charging for probably a year and it's absolutely useless. I haven't been able to get a charge on two different chargers using three different cards, well actually four different forms of payment now. So let's see what it's like using an AC charger. So there we go. We do have a different graphic there when you're AC charging. That's very interesting. Nice shadowing there as well. So let me know if you've tried this new graphics with a third party DC rapid charger. Does it put this graphic up of an AC charger or is it different? Or is it just a supercharger like I found when I've been using the two types, the V3 and V4 supercharger? I would have liked to have seen what it does, but I'm not going to try any more third party chargers and spend more on pre-authorization fees, or I've just actually transferred 20 pounds to an InstaVault account, which I didn't need to, and I'm not going to use. So I'm not going to waste any more money and time trying the ridiculous third party chargers in the UK. I didn't, I'd forgotten how bad they were. It's just reminded me how good the Tesla supercharger network is. The other thing worth trying, ho ho ho, is, let's turn the volume down, no, I can't. So I wanted to try the Christmas mode because I had seen online that your charger changes to a Christmas tree. But I guess that's only when you're using a rapid charger because I'm not seeing any charger here and it is still charging there. So let's see if it does any different when you put it into Tron mode. At least on this one, you can adjust the volume. So I'm surprised they don't have the charger graphics on this Tron mode because it all was part of the same uh, update when they upgraded the graphics on the other screens. 
But anyway, let's get out of that, go back to the normal mode, turn off the radio. And yeah, I quite like this new updated graphics. I'm not sure whether any of this has changed. It sort of looks different, but I think that's just the shadows. Anyway, um, that will do for this video. Please do click the thumbs up if you found it useful. And I've got other videos on the channel uh, showing the 3D mapping on this update and uh, also the issue with the radio traffic announcements which were introduced with this update that you can't turn off. So have a look at those and I'll see you on the next one.